Cool, so now we're going to see the four range. And we just looked at this one. And four range is to range over some kind of data structure. So if I create a data structure and I will do a slice of int and uh, it'll be a slice int. So there it is, right? It's the composite literal, the data type, curly braces and the values, whatever ints I want and trailing comma. And then I could do four index value colon equal range xi and I could font dot print line index value and I could also do it where I think just the index comes out so let's see if that's the index okay so that's how you for range over a slice. Let me run it. CD uh, O2. Boom. Oh, go run. And so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the index that printed out. And so the last way I might create this would be throw away the index and just print the val. So I could also do that if I just want the val. All right, so we got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which was the index. And we got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 42, which was the uh, value. And I'm going to put a little dash in front of that just so we could distinguish it. Okay, because we threw away the index and the dash I added on my own. But that's how you throw away a value. If you're returning a value and you don't want it, you use the underscore character. It's kind of like a manhole. Throw the value in there and gone. And, uh, and basically, though, you, you range over a slice and it returns the index and the value. These variables could be anything. I use IV index value and then you could also have a map composite literal and then curly braces in the value this is the type and then curly braces and we'll put in the values and so James 32 Jenny 27 and we could four range over that and we do, uh, on that, it's key value. So, you know, these are just identifiers. They could be anything for variables. And we can arrange that map. And font.println key value. And then we could arrange it the same way up above. We could just do the key, I think. Well, let's check it out. So we could just do the key. And again, just an identifier could be called anything. And then uh, we could do the throwaway and do val value. And we'll put a little thing in front of it just to show that that's the value. So we got James 32, Jenny 27, that's the key value. And then we had the keys, James and Jenny. And then we had the values in the bottom one. So that's the four range over a slice and a map. And uh, that's starting to look like code. You know, the cool thing about programming is at first when you're learning it, it's just like, ah, ah, what's that? Ah. And wherever you hit your threshold of not knowing, Ah, geez, ah, right? But when you know it, it's like it's wonderful to speak it. It's really like nice and pleasurable to be able to do stuff with it. And so it's kind of like, you know, if you go to Mexico and you're like, de donde es, uh, como se dice, um, uh, you know, and it's just like, ah, you know, 
But when you're like, hola, como esta? You know, or whatever. That's about all my Spanish. You know, but you could really speak it. You know, it's like, hey, it's fun. You could talk to people. You could go places. It's a different language. You know how to communicate in it. It's different than English. You know, it's just like, it's kind of fun. So it's the same way with programming. My experience. All right. So that's, uh, that's the range. Let's do create a little range loop. 